it's May 25th, the year 2021. We're still having an ammo shortage. Today I'm here in Wasilla, Alaska, checking out the Sportsman's Warehouse. We do have intel that today the Sportsman's Warehouse in Anchorage, they did have ammunition, but I'm out in Wasilla to do some business. So today we're gonna be looking at this inventory. This past few weeks in Anchorage, there has been ammo that I've been seeing on our local Facebook forum intel, but I just haven't had the chance to go out there and film. So I apologize for that guys, busy, busy guy now. But I think Sportsman's Warehouse here might have something. It's definitely the summer season, so a lot of folks are pumped up to get outdoors and get their fishing gear. And a lot of people are, I think, focusing more on fishing now. Hmm. This is supposed to be the reload section. It's all filled up with jet boil. Where's all the ammo, man? <clears throat> okay, so this is reload. Do a quick look at reload, guys. 357. 32 bucks. Uh, 30 out 6. And they got 9 mil. 9 mil projectiles, bullets only. They got plenty of 9 mil. $210. 210 for that. So, pretty expensive stuff. They got some 270, 45 cal, some other miscellaneous, 6.5. Here's their ammo aisle. Their ammo aisle, they have 416. 100 bucks 450 bushmaster 38 dollars 50 bmg 85 dollars 375 ultra mag 80 bucks 416 100 dollars 375 again this is some pretty good stuff i lot i know like i said earlier a lot of people were looking for that stuff uh 6.5 6.5 257 260 764 260 6 mil and a bunch of 545 39 12 bucks tula ammo haven't seen tula ammo for a while some 204 220 some 6 mil and then they have a sign right here that says popular handgun at the customer service so we might have to go check out customer service. Oh, customer service or the... Oh, so they have that the customer service, not at the gun counter. I don't know why they do that, man. What do you guys think about that policy? Do you guys like that they're doing that or no? This is the shotgun aisle. They got a good amount of shotgun. <laughs> Let's do a quick breeze. This is 10 gauge. 10 gauge, 10 gauge, 10 gauge, three and a half inch, 32 bucks some 12 gauge <coughs> haven't seen 12 gauge for a while one and three quarter ounce <laughs> shot size two so they got a good amount of 12 gauge guys so lots of 12 gauge two and three quarter these are all buckshot <coughs> so buckshot <coughs> for seven dollars i think that's a pretty fair deal and then uh two shot still seven and a half shot oh they're coming out with a lot of 12 gauge if you guys remember a couple weeks ago it was really hard to find 12 gauge so this is a pretty good price right here seven and a half shot this is all good for planking and clay and small games so seven and a half shot so plenty of shotgun shell yeah good to see that stuff here's the buck shot right here three to four dollars what brand is this right here never heard of this brand buck shot and then they got some 12 gauge, eight shots. So all these are 12 gauge, which is really good to see. Yeah, it was really hard to see any time. Uh, for a moment, we lost 12 gauge for a while. And then all we had was just 28 gauge and 20 gauge. And this is all 20 gauge over here. Right in front of us is the customer service counter. I'm gonna go ask them and see if they have any nine mil or 223. They might have some because a lot of Germans are just waiting in line with bare empty hands. So usually they might be waiting for ammo. I'll go ask and see what they have. Oh, they do have a lot of stuff though. You guys see all that back counter? That's all ammo back there. Holy smoke. They got a lot of ammo, guys. Damn. So they do have nine mil. They do have nine mil. Okay, so here's what I found out, guys. Customer service had all the popular ammo and holy smoke. They had a bunch of nine mil. 
I didn't take any video or anything like that because it was just really awkward. The guy was there security. They had like three carts, uh, three shopping carts filled up with just nine mil ammunition. So they had nine mil, they had 10 mil because I heard some people ask for it and the guy gave them 10 mil. And then I look at that back counter, they had 30 out six, um, 270 and some other popular rifle, hand, hand, rifle rounds. And I believe they had 223, but I couldn't get a close look at it. There was a lot of ammo at this place for sure. So this place here, they keep all the ammo at the customer service now, all the popular ones. If you're looking for ammo, just go right to the customer service and then um, ask them for what you want. The limit was two box. I only pick up one box just for video purpose. I picked up one box. The guy's like, you sure? You can get two box. I'm like, no, just give me one box. This stuff here was $18.99 plus tax. So it's about $19, so about 20 bucks for this stuff. Yeah, it's pretty expensive, but it is what it is. This is just a quick ammo grab. And like I said, I just picked it for the heck of it. This sportsman's warehouse, they've been getting a lot of ammo compared to their sportsman's warehouse in Anchorage. So I don't know, maybe they have better logistics, better connections, but yeah, this place here, they've been getting a lot of ammo and they've been doing pretty good on their social media, Facebook page, advertising it as well. Still in Wasilla, we're passing this place called Three Bears. It's a grocery slash, they have a lot of outdoor sections. So let me go in there real quick and just see what they have for their ammo inventory. They call it their Three Bear Alaska Outpost. Pretty cool section here. They got a lot of ammo. There's a lot of ammo at that counter. We'll go back there and show you guys. Yeah, they got a lot of ammo. So much ammo. A lot of nine mil, I think. Reload section. Reload section 45, 44, 338, 338 special, 8 mil. They got some pretty good stuff here. CZ 12 gauge, 17 Hornet, 221. Yeah, 300, 2506, 375, 375. Thank you. Damn, they had 9 mil ammo for 1599, a couple bucks cheaper than Sportsman's Warehouse. I kind of regret buying the one from Sportsman's Warehouse now. I should have just bought it right here, but who knows? I didn't know that this place was going to have ammo. They got a bunch of 9 mil. Nobody's buying anything. I didn't buy any. It was $15.99. They still have tax. We're still in the Wasilla City. So it's $15.99. I didn't ask the guy what their box limit was, but it is what it is. We're going to pass on this run here. You guys are probably going to be like, oh, don't do that, new. Go grab some. I asked him if he got any 223. No 223. Uh, asked him when they get their shipment. He said it's just random now. So yeah, check out this place, man. Three Bears, Alaska. Hope you guys enjoyed this ammo update. Let me know what you guys been getting for May 25th. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.